Today we are going to discuss about a chapter called Reaching the Age of Adolescence. In the previous chapter, we have studied about reproduction, reproduction in animals, especially in human beings. So human beings, they are capable of producing the young ones of their own kind. To do so, they have got certain special organs, reproductive organs. Males have male reproductive organs. Females have female reproductive organs. Now here, the question is, by what time these organisms or humans are capable of producing young ones? When an organism is able to reproduce, is there any specific age? The answer is yes. Organisms, they carry out various life processes by birth, nutrition, respiration, excretion, transportation. So these kind of various activities start up by the time the baby is born. Before the baby is born, when the embryo is developing, by that time all these processes, they start slowly. But only the process, reproduction, reproduction, this process, it starts at a specific age, specific age, it starts at a specific age, why? The question is why? Why it starts at a specific age? Organisms, they need to have special body parts completely developed for the process of reproduction. So when the baby is born, the baby is born with the reproductive organs, but they are not ready for reproduction. The baby has to grow up and the reproductive parts, they should be grown completely they should be totally matured physically for the process of reproduction. So till that age, the organisms cannot reproduce. Now let us see what is this adolescence. Now let us see what is this adolescence and puberty. What is adolescence? Our growth patterns are different. We do not grow uniformly like some trees or plants. Our growth is very high at specific periods. Our growth will be slow at specific periods. And mostly, like after reaching an age of 19 years or 20 years, our growth stops. We stop growing tall. There may be certain changes in our weight and appearance to some extent after the age of 19 or 20. But our height will be fixed by the age of 20, around 20 years. So from 0 to 20 years also, there is no uniform progressive growth. You are not growing uniformly year by year. Right? So every year you are not going same height. You are not growing same height. There is some variation. At certain periods, you shoot up. You grow so quickly, so tall. What is that period? Especially after 10 years, at the age of 11 years, 12 years, 13 years, you grow up so quickly, you become so tall. So this period is called as adolescence. So till what age to what age? That is, it may begin at an age of 11 to 19. So this is called as adolescence. It is also called as teenage, teenage. So why this is called as teenage, especially 13. From 13, we are spelling it as 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. At the end as that suffix, we are calling teen. So this age group is called as a teenage. And the children, those who are in this age are called as teenagers teenagers. So it begins at 11, continues till 19. There will be so many changes in the bodies of boys as well as girls. But whereas in case of girls, it may be earlier, one year or two years earlier compared to boys. 
So this age at which so many changes takes place in their body, changes. So these changes are visible outside. We can see the changes in the children, in their growth patterns and certain physical changes, growing some hair on above the upper lip of the boys. That is the growth of mustache, growth of hairs at different parts of the body. Certain kind of changes are seen during this period. These changes, they lead to, they lead to reproductive, reproductive maturity. Reproductive maturity. So all these changes are caused because of hormones. So these changes, they lead to reproductive maturity. Means the organisms, they will get the ability to reproduce. So to get the ability completely, actually the process starts at 11. It doesn't mean that after 11 years, they are ready for reproduction. Their reproductive organs, they start developing by this age. And the development continues till this age, 19. So by that, the organs will be completely mature. The reproductive organs will be completely mature. So it takes the time. In the meantime, there are so many special characteristics are developed in boys and girls separately. The boys, they turn into men. Girls turn into women. So what kind of basic differences we find between a boy and a man? What are the differences you find? So such differences will happen to this boy slowly, gradually, year by year. A boy turns to a man. Boys are basically thin or lean or chubby, but they are not muscular. The body becomes toned. If you see a man, his muscles are toned. So there is a growth of muscle. Boys grow tall and becomes man. Boys, they grow facial hair, hair on the face, beards and mustache. So such kind of changes are found here. So all these changes, they are leading to what? Reproductive maturity. That means the boy is achieving the reproductive maturity to become a man. So this period is called as adolescence and puberty.